Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering ServiceNow Knowledge 2018. Brought to you by ServiceNow. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of ServiceNow Knowledge 18. We are wrapping up day one of coverage. I'm Rebecca Knight, your host, along with my co-host Dave Vellante. We're joined by Bipin Paracha. He is the co-founder and principal consultant of Integrathem. Thanks so much for coming on the show, Bipin. Thank you for having us. So let's just lay the scene for our viewers. Tell, tell our viewers a little bit about what Integrathem does. So Integrathem is started as a management advisory firm. We are teaching clients how to transform. Fell in love with ServiceNow platform back in 2012. And since then, we love leaving behind working systems that drive outcomes for our clients. So we do a lot of transformative process organizations, shared service transformations, things that leave behind business value for our clients. So a combination of tip of the spear consulting and also implementation, is that correct? Or? So we change the tip of the spear, we kind of have tip of the spear in the implementation phase. So it is kind of baked into our methodology on how we drive outcomes for our clients. Oh, okay. So we don't charge our clients extra for consulting because we believe we get paid when we drive outcomes. Outcome-based incentives. Yep, exactly. So your growth has been phenomenal, really, uh, in recent years. So what, what's, what's the magic? What, do, what are you doing? How's it, how has it been achievable? So one of the fundamental things that you've heard all along here, but what we've also believed is customer success. If you drive value for your customers, if you drive great value, they come back. A lot of people say that, a lot of people believe that, but we were fortunate enough to latch on to the Comet's tail with ServiceNow early on. We are one of the few early partners. We saw the platform is amazing. It can do terrific things. And we've been able to drive the platform to do things for our customers, and that's helped propel our growth. As long as we stay true to that mission, we are keeping to grow. I want to ask you a question as a practitioner, somebody who really knows this space. ServiceNow, obviously great for mid to large, large size companies, trying to do anything related to a service request, customer service management, obviously ITSM, change management, problem management, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What, what's it not good at? It's not for small business, it's not CRM, it's not a, a, a HR app, right? So what's, so, the, what's the profile of a company that you typically work with? So it is great for small businesses. We are a small business. We own ServiceNow. Really? We run our business on ServiceNow. Get out of here. For the right profile <laughs> of a customer, it is beautiful. How many employees are you? We have 70 today. 70? 70. Oh, you really are a small and business. We are pretty small, but we still run our business on ServiceNow. It does more things than any other project management tool. It does more things than any other content management tool. We use CSM, we use PPM, we use everything. It drives value. Do you run your CRM in service now? We, we integrate with CRM. Okay. So we use the same CRM that ServiceNow uses, HubSpot. Our marketing, Which our Which is really marketing. I mean, it's, exactly. so ServiceNow is your back-end CRM platform, yep. essentially. So our single view of our customer is ServiceNow. Every time anybody touches us across a project, across an incident, across, we see them in ServiceNow. Wow, that's, I didn't realize that. That I mean, is that, that common, that a company of your it's size? It's actually not. So one of the big leg ups we have is we are an implementation company, we are passionate, so we kind of get the free implementation. So our team yeah. goes gangbusters. Yeah, you're service now, alpha geeks. You guys yeah. really deep. They love what they stuff. do and <laughs> we have to kind of slow them down sometimes. We got customers to deal with, go focus on customers. Yeah. You are a passionate evangelist for service now. Oh yeah. Uh, can you do what are you learning here at Knowledge? And this is not your first Knowledge, not your first rodeo, but are you talking with other customers and learning how they're using it, the platform, and then so also being able to come back and take those best practices home? So we are a business, right, end of the day. So we get our clients here to service now. And when clients talk to the product company, product team, they learn a lot. When the product team talks to the clients, they learn a lot. But when clients talk to clients, magic happens. We've been a partner for other technologies, I won't name them, but ServiceNow is truly a customer-driven organization. 
I have never in my 20 plus years of experience run into a passionate customer base. Sometimes customers know how to sell ServiceNow better than ServiceNow themselves. So get a bunch of customers together, we win. In, in the early days when we started covering ServiceNow, you, you would hear stories about custom, making custom mods, making modifications, how that slowed people down, going to subsequent releases. I, I hear more often now, no custom mods, we avoid custom mods. What are you seeing, what are you preaching in the marketplace? So, ServiceNow today is different from ServiceNow five years ago. Yeah, for sure. So we strongly believe you can go live out of the box. We actually had two presentations, a $2.5 billion company, top 20 exporter in the US, took them live in ServiceNow with zero customizations. Straight out of the box. Schooler, American greetings, CSM, out of the box. Our story is you're buying a Ferrari, drive it around the block, use what you use, and then figure out how you transform the organization. When you're buying ServiceNow, you get best practices. ServiceNow is already baked in industry best practices. If you're doing something, figure out where you're special and pay attention to where you're special. When you think back to those customers five years ago that did a lot of custom modifications, yeah. how do you help them you know, get off that technical so, debt? So we have a couple of programs that we run. So we've done back in the box for a couple of our accounts. Stand up a new ServiceNow instance, build up from scratch, migrate. Sounds easy, but we've done it a few times, so we know we, we can be do. Yeah. The other thing is, you can move in a phased approach. So, HR has come up with a scope dap. It is two years. Move off the custom HR into scope dap. GRC, move into the scope dap. So you can migrate in phases. We've had like six major conversations today around how you roll back this stuff. So what customers built six years ago, ServiceNow delivers out of the box. Vipin, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. Well, it's been a pleasure having you. So thanks for having me here. It was fun hanging out. You're welcome. Great, Good the party you. is getting started, so yeah. I think we, we've got to join our them. It's our, it's our yeah. time now, exactly. All Great. right, thank you. Yes, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we will have, We're done. <laughs> we will come back tomorrow with more from ServiceNow Knowledge 18. I'm Rebecca Knight for Dave Vellante. We'll see you back here tomorrow.